Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. Let's go into the reading, however. Um, so the first row deals with your love life, and the second row deals more with like work, family, finances, and you know more of a general reading. Okay. So the energy can overlap. There could be love messages from here as well. But whatever comes in while I start the reading, I'm just going to relay the information to you. So. Let's talk about this. We have here the Four of Pentacles. So it seems almost as if in the love front, many of you have released a relationship partner. You're just like, I'm done with this. It is emotionally very destabilizing for me to be in it. And many of you, I honestly feel like um, you might have been dealing with somebody and you're looking at them through a different light. You're seeing them for the first time. And there might be quirks or you know personality traits or things about them that you're not very fond of okay so I feel as if you you might be dealing with somebody who's very resistant to change okay four pentacles hanging on very tightly to our values being very stubborn unwilling to change unwilling to make a move unwilling to do things outside of um, the norm or step out of our comfort zone so I feel for many of you you were dealing with somebody like that and the more they resist the, the more difficult it is for you I see many of you juggling the relationship and your job. It's almost like there's an emotional disconnect here between you and the other person where they don't really understand like um, why you're so busy. They don't really understand like, you know, uh, why you get home from work and you're exhausted. Or they don't really understand why on the weekends you just want to stay home and, and rather than go out and, you know, paint the town red, for example. So there is an emotional disconnect between you and the other person in that you don't understand where they're coming from and they don't understand where you're coming from. The Six of Cups in the reverse usually indicates a situation where your values might be different. So you look at life through different worldviews. And your values might be so different where you have to constantly explain and spell out everything for the other person in order to get them to understand. They likewise have to uh, explain everything in order to get you to understand. So communication, um, let's just say communication is really front and center. This is an air um, type of energy. It deals with um, being left in the dark, not knowing what to do, feeling very confused, and it's a very frustrating place to be as an uh, as an, a water sign because you have to spell things out for the other person. A lot of the times you're so patient and you're so intuitive that you expect the other person to automatically get what you're feeling because you get what they're feeling, right? But when we're dealing with other people, especially of a different nature, especially of a different suit from us, and they might do things that can be a little bit annoying or they might show flaws and things like that, that you, it's almost like you're discovering it for the first time and it's throwing a wrench in the works for you. And so the best policy in relationship overall is to speak up. People cannot read your mind, Pisces. You can read other people's minds, I'm sure. But people cannot read your mind. So if you want something, you have to spell it out for them. If you want to get a point across, you have to explain and err on the side of needing to over explain so that they understand where you're coming from. So I feel like you're dealing with frustration, but you're not really voicing it and you're not really um, being vocal about it. Okay, so which is it's not good to hold these things in and it's not good to assume that the other person understands you so i feel like you know you some of you who are single you've released a person you've released a person you're done with that connection and and i feel like there's still communication and, and talks and things like that because financially you're not separated from them so they could be you know paying the bills they could be paying child support alimony you could be the one paying child support and alimony and you're still not done with that connection you're trying to move on with your life as well but you're just like where do i look who do I go to and when is the right person going to come along? So some of you are dating, but the connections that are coming through, they're not really exceptional. They're not really, you know, they're kind of like mediocre people here and there, but you're trying to build something that uh, solid. And so I feel as if the universe is telling you, 
the um the people that are willing to build with you they're going to be coming into the picture but you cannot assume that the emotional connection is going to dictate everything so just because you know the emotional connection is not there at the beginning it doesn't mean that you should cross them off your list give it a little bit more time the earth energy this is like it it builds up with time it takes a lot of dates it takes a lot of conversation a lot of phone calls and a lot of open and honest communication from you you hold a lot of stuff in and i feel like people might misunderstand you and then i also feel as well for many of you you're so intuitive that you can kind of see through people and their bs but you don't say anything about it and then the other person kind of push boundaries with you and so it's really important to voice your opinion and to have that open channel of communication so that you can understand the other person and more importantly so that they can understand you and then they can start building with you so it's almost like telling you um you know because you're the the sign of the fish but it's also swimming in different directions so it's it's almost like you're working at cross purposes with yourself when you are out there dating and trying to find the right relationship partner you're trying to find that kindred soul that that other half your soulmate and you feel like once i meet that person i will know every fiber of my being will know well relationships doesn't really start that way and um it requires building it requires consistency it requires you know a lot of work and dedication in order to make it stick in order to make it lasting okay so um give it a little bit more time go through the connection um try to get to know each other and you know tell the other person how you really feel um open up a little bit more and whatever you're looking for i feel like you know demanded of them okay just because like uh the commu- the emotional connection is really strong doesn't mean they're the right one for you it takes somebody who's responsible and dependable so if you're dating somebody and you're not really sure how you feel about them as long as they're stable and dependable it's definitely a green light for you to go ahead okay um for those of you in relationships um if you have children with the other person if there are finances if there are financial issues as well it's going to be very glaring for this week okay finances where are we wasting money and then um growing impatient with your relationship partner too because of values differences because of parenting styles as well the six of cups deals heavily with children those are things that you want to be a little bit careful about okay just be careful about that um i feel like the energy is very short and transient but i feel like it's still going to be a little bit aggravating to deal with okay and so try to work through these issues try to have that open channel communication if you're not happy about something for the love of god please tell your partner you guys hold so much in and you're just kind of like oh let's just see what happens let's just see what happens well it's it's not the right time to do that it's really important to voice your opinions and make sure the other person is on board okay in terms of your work life and everything else let me talk about this the eight of pentacles sending out resumes um not feeling entirely too good about where you currently are sending out resumes um sending out making connections and for those of you who are like a contractor or you are self employed you're make creating business cards you're networking you're sending out pieces of yourself you're showing people your portfolios you're doing powerpoint presentations to kind of get your name out there for those who are uh looking for work or even looking to change your work situation you're sending out resumes you're sending out like uh letters of recommendations references and and things like that in order to land the job that you want and this is a great energy what you're leaving behind is this the devil deals with a work situation that can be a little bit toxic okay toxic coworkers uh the work is not itself very fulfilling it just pays the bills and then you go through it and every day that you leave work you're just like i wish there was something more to it i wish there it was more exciting i wish it was more dynamic and i wish that it's just um 
you know, better. I wish I could be somewhere else or doing something else. And I feel you don't feel like this is something that you're gonna make a career out of. Okay, this is a card about destiny and fate and you know professional development. When it's in the reverse with the devil, it's almost like. I can do this for right now. It pays the bills, but it's not very inspiring. That's the word. You're not very inspired by the work that you're doing, and I also feel like the toxic energy in the work front is very covert. It's sort of like maneuvering behind the scenes, people with hidden agendas, or even people with personality issues, and it's very covert. It's very under the radar. People aren't. Open and flamboyant and flaunting it. People are just, you know,、um, every man for himself almost. And I feel like there are some people in your work environment that you might not enjoy their company, or you might not even enjoy conversations with them. And you have to, you know, plaster on this this、uh, nice guy, nice girl facade just to get through the day, just so you don't step on anybody's toes. So the energy seems to me to be very tense and very covert. And this、uh, week, even it's it's still it's still coming out. And so I feel many of you are looking for other jobs. Many of you are like, you know, looking at other options. Okay,、uh, which is really good. I definitely feel that you should do that because I don't feel like there are coworkers sabotaging you. I don't sense that because the energy is not very direct. It's very, very covert. It's very under the radar. You feel it going to work, but no one is saying anything about it. But you already know this is not where I want to be. This is not a professional,、um, you know, development track. It's good because it pays the bills. It's stable, so I'm hanging on to it. But at the end of the day, I want work that is more meaningful, more inspiring, that will, you know, make me feel good about coming to work every day. So I feel like many of you are thinking about this process, where you're spreading your wings, you're moving on, and you're, you know, looking for something else. All right.、Um, it looks to be very good. If this is where you,、uh, if this is what you're feeling, definitely get to this point where you can look at other options. Okay. And then on the relationship front, it's almost like a mixed message for different. Sectors, relationship takes a while to build. Whereas with work, if you're not happy, leave it. Okay, so I feel like that's a little bit of a mixed message concerning your love life and your professional life, and that's why I do the spreads、um, as two separate spreads. Okay, I hope it has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for those who are st still sticking around. I will be a lot more consistent with the reading. My hand has healed. Okay, so、uh, I apologize. But I hope this is coming in in a timely manner, and I hope it's still helpful for you guys. Take care, Pisces. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.